Hello everybody. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to configure a RAID 0 or a Stripe volume on Windows 10. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Disk Management. Now, inside of disk management, you can already see that there are several hard drives, but the ones that I'm going to be focusing on are disk 1 and disk 2. So the, the second step that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just right click on it and we're going to go ahead and delete the volume. Of course, uh, deleting disk volume will erase all data on it. Yeah, yeah go right ahead. And we're going to do the same thing on disk 2. Yes. Okay. So the next step is going to be we're going to go ahead and right click on disk one and we're going to go ahead and convert it to dynamic disk. Now select one or more basic disks to convert to dynamic disks. Now, of course, we're going to select disk one and we're going to also select disk two. Hit OK. All right, so now that they're set up as dynamic disks, we're going to go right ahead and right click on it. And we're going to go right ahead and click on or select the new striped volume. I'm going to select that. This wizard pops up. Click next. Now, the one that's already selected is disk one. So we're going to go ahead and also select disk two. Click on add. Hit next, assign drive letter F, that's fine. NTFS, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to RAID 0. Perform quick format, next, and finish. Now, as you can see, they look a little bit different now from disk 0 and disk 3. And this means that they're already configured on RAID, RAID 0. So if we go to, oops, if we go to Windows Explorer, actually, yeah, Windows Explorer, and we go to this PC, we can see that there's already the label that I created, which was RAID, RAID 0, and it has a total of 465 gigs. Now, with RAID 0, the the performance will greatly improve for read and write. Now let's just say you have a file so what's going to happen is not all the file is actually going to stay in disk 1. It's actually going to be spread out uh, on these two drives. So now that we're saying that uh, you know the file isn't just located on one disk it's actually distributed on the two on the two drives. So let's just say if disk 1 fails what's going to happen to that to that file or to that data. Well, unfortunately, with RAID 0, that data is gone. Well, everybody, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one.